think it's like like going along with my dad on some kind of trips. Um, and you know, usually he's driving. Thinking of when he he used to work in a uh, in a bakery, he used to deliver bread mm -hmm. in Germany, mm -hmm. and uh, he would maybe once or twice he took me along. See, he, he took you along for this experience. It wasn't a random choice, you say. So what happened? Um, well, he, he would like, you'd go from bakery to bakery and pick up bread. Mm -hmm. And then I would be waiting in the car. And It, it was just hmm. I don't know it was nothing seems to like stand out about it that's good uh, so um, what was he doing in the bakeries sorry was he just picking it up and leaving right just hello goodbye Oh, no. No. <laughs> Come on. You know that. <laughs> Come on. Um, he, he would like, he, he normally, um, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> got there it. There it is. <laughs> okay. um, he never just hmm. drops it off and picks it. <laughs> but, come on. Uh, my dad <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, is is like known for um, just like fooling around with the people that are that are working there. Oh, just the men. Everyone. Oh, the women too. Yeah. Oh, I just could never guess that. Probably more the women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then like like. Um, what was he doing in those intervals of picking up the bread with the women or the people? Um. I guess it's what he would call flirting. Hmm. Hmm. Do you, you want to know whether I would call it flirting, or do you have enough evidence to say, hey, that was flirting? I, have, I know he thinks it is, but I don't think it is. Okay. I mean, anyway. That's but what it, he fits, it fits his model. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he would, like, I can, I can, whenever I go somewhere with him, it's with the men too. Whenever I go somewhere with him, I know that it's never going to be just a smooth in and out of the place. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's always going to be, we'll be stopping along the way at random like cash registers or people who are selling stuff and he would just be uh, doing his spiel with them. Yeah. Well, you were left in the car? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, like a prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought we'd take this dream on an allegorical level. That's a different way of going, but we're used to... And it's part of that ancient secret teachings of Plato. Which is what? Oh, it's just what you're saying, Par partially. <clears throat> See, it's up to Barbara now to take a look at those four kinds of families and see which one is it likely, most likely, to generate from. Would you say, Pierre, 
What is which one of the? Oh, go ahead. Couldn't hear you. Yeah, which one of the families described in the Republic that generates pathologoses would fit this very case that we have before us? Oh, I got you. Barbara has an interest in this, and so I know she'd quickly go through the four and talk about how to come to that kind of a conclusion. Yeah. No, not Sorry. quickly. <laughs> if anyone has a particular one in mind, there's a couple interesting ones. Yeah. You know, but, um, well, because, um, well, for example, I at first I was thinking just the fact that he's bored by, and his father has all this wealth of experience, for lack of a better term. Could you see? How would yeah? How would you do that, Pierre? See, he's, <laughs> see what he's doing is not doing it with his son. <clears throat> right. right. He's not engaging him. He's That's seeing right. him engaging with strangers on a high level. Hmm. And he's in the car. With Nada. Yeah, not among them. That's, that's how it always feels when I go with my dad at anywhere. Yeah, that's it. Like, if my dad is there, then I can't engage anyone. That's right. Hmm. Mm. Even if yeah. Even if we're out with the family, if yeah. my dad is there, then it's like, that's like my role. Mm-hmm. Uh, huh. no, 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 that's the role he gave you. It's, you didn't choose that role. That was the only alternative for you as a young person. He set up the conditions for this kind of learning to take place. I remember like standing on the side of the road I think it was during that trip with mm -hmm. the bakery. And I don't know if I actually, uh, whether I decided to, to leave or whether um, he told me to go with someone else. I just remember like standing on the side of the road and it had something to do with the bakery um, and that kind of situation uh, where it was right after I had been through this, um, this, this drama of me going along with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe like my mom came and picked me up or something. I don't know. That would be rather important. That suggests you were abandoned, and she came to pick you up, left alone, on I the side of the road. Something's going on. Go ahead. I remember standing on the side of the road mm -hmm. and thinking about um, how I didn't, um, how I didn't like what we were doing that day, how I didn't, like I, I wasn't feeling good about um, the time I had spent with my dad, mm -hmm. spent mm -hmm. my dad. Okay. Um, I don't know, there was some kind of shift there, either me leaving or going with someone else or Hey, just, you're by the road, right? You're alone. <clears throat> what role did you about to play? I was very alone at that, in that scene. Hmm? I, I really felt alone in that scene. Yeah. Yeah. While he's doing this. 
You're left alone, Johnny was side of the road. Have to come to some conclusion to see about what the hell is going on. Yeah. What is it like to discover that at the base of that attitude is a teaching? Either or. You came to a very interesting insight there, didn't you? You saw a whole way in which you were relating could be related to this. Yeah. It's like... So, uh, what are you going to do with this? It's like when, when I have that feeling, that state right. of mind, I know what's coming. And now you can decide whether I want to go that right, route or not. Or look for some other alternative. Hmm. So it looks like, by the way, this, you know, if we could play for a moment, uh, looks like the dream has an analogical relationship with your problem. And Plato's allegory of the cave, right? You know what that means? That means you should you should become the, the absolute master of the allegory of the cave. <laughs> and since you started this discussion by saying the part of the republic that you recall is the divided line, you will give us a talk on how the divided line relates to the allegory of the cave, won't you? <laughs> that sounds nice. Yeah, see, you want to... By the way, uh, what kind of thinking does that cut off? Right there you are with those two possibilities. It's either this or nothing. Right, that, that blocks us higher kinds of functioning, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. It's like, I, I, I can see that in my, the way that my day sometimes goes, mm -hmm. <laughs> oftentimes, it's like, um, <coughs> it's it's kind of like there's a there's a there's a cutoff somewhere. Mm -hmm. If I if I don't do something by a certain time, or if I do do something, mm -hmm. if I make that decision somewhere, then it the rest of the day is gone. Yeah, so. yeah. But what kind of thinking then proceeds during that interval when you're under the influence of those pathologos? Right, you can't do the higher, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, uh, Jean is into psychology, you know. And this is her question. She wants to know what kind of cognitive thinking is allowed and which one is repressed and why. So she really wants to get you to tell her what's happening in your case so she can put it in that category. Right, isn't it? That's what you're told yes. is interested in. <coughs> yes. Mm. Yeah. It's very, it's very, <coughs> yeah. it's very narrow, the, the thinking that's allowed. It's very, um, it's really very much like, like this, um, trying to make the best of it. Because it's like, there, there isn't much there. <laughs> that's right. And now I have, haven't got much to work with. So I, I just use whatever's there to, to do my best. Right. Now, you see, but you caught it in an image. And you have the history of it going back and its influence on your life. Right? Which we call a pathologist, right? That cuts off a certain kind of thinking. Yeah. Yeah. But what is it? It's image thinking. 
That image what that I'm you framed, image yeah, that image you framed, as a result of the experiences you had, had a long-term consequence on your life. And it kept you from, when you're in it, there are times when you're not, of course. When you're not, then you can do higher thinking as you do. But when you're under the influence of this thing, it cuts off higher thinking. It looks like image thinking. By the way, uh, what, what hypothesis is that, Barbara? Oh, do you have an idea? I, I do, um, but no. I mean, please, I'm patient. If he's completely cut off from the divine, then he might be in the fifth. Oh. Right? That's one possibility. Yeah. Like, it may be there, but he ain't relating he ain't to, to it. Contact, <clears throat> yep. And it can't get there from Say, there. what are the implications of that, Barbara? Well, that if he got an insight into it, he could move. Yeah, yeah. What are the implications of that oh. in terms of the Parmenides? Oh, okay. Well, it would suggest that the hypotheses are, can be lined up with the divided line. Oh, and correspondingly? The and images this, in the allegory of the cave. And therefore the images in the allegory of the cave, yes. And then to the families that are represented that produce each of those levels. Yes. Mm. I've not ever done that one, but that's oh, interesting. Oh, and equally well, uh, they capture cognitive states, don't they? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And the sixth we lined up with the pathologos. Right, right, mm. right, right. right. So, uh, is your assumption then that the uh, Plato's uh, Republic is metaphysically expressed in the Parmenides? That would be your assumption that I would heartily agree with. <laughs> <laughs> it may not even be an assumption for you. For me, I'd, it would, I need to In other words, if you really want to understand image thinking, what would, I think your suggestion wow. would be you better be clear about the, the fifth hypothesis. Yes. Oh. And equally well for each of the others? And equally well for each of the others. Well, then the Parmenides is relatively simple. It, it's all it's comparison with these other things, and you link them together, and that's the dialogue, right? Yeah! Huh? That's why you hardly need any time to study it at all. That's right, it's so obvious. <laughs> and only deal with the obvious, right? Mm. Interesting. Now, it's best if, if you don't recall this discussion when we go back to the Parmenides meetings. Really? What do you think would be the impact of such a discourse? Oh, disastrous. No, no, we'd disastrous. Get, mm. yeah, we'd get out of the text a while and... Yeah, some of those are very fruitful sessions though. Yeah, yeah. What was the obvious question that we... Did you ask it and did I not see it? Wasn't there an obvious question that you said that we would ask these other questions instead and kind of wait along to ask it later. Did you ask it secretly no, he, that I didn't no, see no. it? No, he volunteered it. Ah. That's why I didn't want to advance it. Ah. It's an image. Ah, oh, that okay. Image, that image goes into the allegory. Of the ah, I see. Therefore, the description of what it's like to be there mirrors the dynamics of the figures. Mm-hmm gazing at the wall of the cave and listening to the voices. Mm -hmm. Those voices are the pathologos. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing they, they can remember or see. It's carried on the, on the heads of people of the pathologos is from each of the families. That's why he needs more than one figure. So does that put him in the tyrannic because he's on the bottom? Well, in respect, in respect to this kind of thinking, uh, right. when it appears. Right. Yeah. The, the, the interesting thing is that um, since I have those two uh, options, mm -hmm. I must have already gone through something in order to have that right. set up. That's right. That experience with your father had a memorable effect. 
And what we have to always see is what the hell made it memorable? Why did it have such power? And we're not close to that, but unless we get that. Well, I'm thinking um, that I, I remembered the, the, the day with my father in the bakery, um, but before <laughs> I went on the trip with him, I already had that, uh, that feeling of, you know, maybe I shouldn't go. I think I already had that no, already. at that point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so that, what's interesting about that, therefore there must have been something prior to that that is more even, more interesting. So. But isn't he left, he had that one scene at the end where he, that vague memory that came out of him, standing there alone and thinking, yeah. thinking that you're all alone. What, I wonder what else you were thinking about at that time. Because while that's already in place, he does learn something from this lesson. It's what else is going on at the time? What else was going on at the time? Hmm. Rather than states of mind, since that state of mind is going to be present. Well, I was thinking he was saying, like, with the girl. It's either he goes or he does nothing. It's either he goes and does what he doesn't want to do, or nothing happens, and he's left doing nothing. So I was wondering if that's like being, he's like, well, either I hang out with my dad or I end up alone. Like, either I'm... I would wonder, I would want more content from what he, what he was thinking in that scene. So you're trying to understand it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just trying to see if there was more content. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah I know. So. I just thought I'd help you. Good luck. I was just laughing because that's his usual line there. <laughs> so then when I anticipated him saying it and he said it, just to make clear, what I was laughing at was that he always ends up, oh, you're looking for understanding. Good luck. <laughs> that's what he does. So with midwife we seen. Just to go. You don't have enough information to understand it. Okay. I was just trying to get him to talk about what he was going through there. Actually, that was my goal, but... And I pointed out I that that's not going to go anywhere. What you need is more data from the past, that it looks like we're opening up before you can then talk about it as something understandable. Okay. I see right, that. I was trying Especially to help you. he said it's already there before he started. Yeah. Yeah. I was just wondering if he came to some other, like, layer on top of what was already there that explained what was already there but yeah i, I don't no, have that, memory of that um much more memory of that standing on the side of the road good other than a gray german day <laughs> you used to talk about that the circle of the problem and that um there's like in prior scenes there's a block to his having perhaps asking his father or saying, no, hey, I want to do something here, or whatever. The, the options are blocked by prior past scenes, right? right. Which are really, uh, which created this one. Which created this one. Yep. So the dream saying, go further back. Well, no, we, we have a point. We have the point. Okay. So, like what? Uh, so what? So you sit Danny by the road. Yeah, so what? Uh, it's a very difficult question. Yeah, I know it's nuanced. <laughs> um, I felt uh, like kind of tricked or... Mm. Um, yeah. 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 If you could recall it, anything at all about anything else, you can recall about it to discover what the, what the trick was. It would be helpful. Well, he. Okay, my dad. Um, whenever he invites me to go somewhere, wants me to do something, he promises the world. Whoa. He promises everything. 
Good. I'll buy you ice cream. I'll we'll go there. We'll go there. We'll do this. Um, and that never happens. <laughs> or it happens in a very diminished format, right, right, which is not right, even close right, to what right. he said. Wow. That's how he captures you. Mm. Hey, we're gonna do this, 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 this. Come on. The the funny thing, the weird thing is, later on, as I grew older, it almost became like a joke. He would say, yeah, I'll do this and this and this for you, or I'll buy you this or whatever. And we, it's like we both know he's not going to do it. But still I go along with it you know, sometimes. That's, that's the point he wants. That even though you both know it's phony, you go along with the companionship. But a diminished relationship. That's the point he wants. Like yeah. that's the. That's what. It, that's no, how no. we relate to each other. What is it? Whether he wants it consciously is another issue. Right. Right. I mean. But whether it does what it does, that's the point. So the point is that that's how we relate to each other. Mm -hmm. And how does he look at that moment? Oh, like he's very um, uh, playful and mischievous and uh, fun and... Um, high state. The dude's in a high state. Among the experiences you've had with him, where would you put those? Yeah, pretty high. Yeah. Yeah. See, that made it memorable. Unless you can show the memorability of a past scene, you don't understand it yet. Hmm. Hmm. Because we're not fools. Mm -hmm. right? He appeared so great, so magnificent, that you go, that's it, man. Must be right. He looks so good. I'll go along this time. Hope, hope. It was the same thing with, um, uh, he would call me along to go uh, to this place where he runs, he goes for, he does laps running and he would call me to come along and also promise me things and then I would just be there standing there while he's running laps. There you are, um, standing there while, see? And I'm just like, and then I'll try to make the best of it and there it is. play with yeah. rocks. Right. <laughs> but nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you see, getting more data mm -hmm. now allows you to understand something in terms of the individual. Otherwise, when we try to understand it without this data, it's not understanding. You're not going to be able to do it. And it's the same thing I was... A, as I... Mm -hmm. As I make the step to go with him, as I decide I'm going to go with him, I have that uh, kind of thing, which I don't really listen to. Yeah, that's it. See? Now you have to listen to them all. Mm. Good. <clears throat> Good. Thank you. Thank you. Fun. Thank you. Yeah. Fun. Notice we didn't do our usual <clears throat> trip. No. Because we're now dealing with an on The allegorical. Anagogic. Pardon me, allegorical level. Right? Curious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's part of that Platonic stuff that isn't often discussed. <laughs> Except in certain Irish bars. Uh huh. You mean cool. often discussed outside of this group? Yeah. Because yeah. we seem to do it every week. <laughs> <laughs> what did they even talk about? Yeah. Well, what else do they even talk <coughs> about if they don't talk about this? Especially this business about the Republic and the Parmenides. And nearly any bar in Ireland, they talk about this, in Trin especially Trinity, Trinity College. College. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. I'm just well, they should. <laughs> <laughs> they should, yeah. <laughs> They're too busy being academics, yeah. you know, like clashing papers against one another and yeah. gaining 
knighthood in a college or mm -hmm. something like that. Like, Are you going to reveal the secret teachings to Jeff? If I had any, I would reveal them I not mean, only to no, Jeff. No, what we've been talking about, the prime the republic. Oh, there he is. Hello. <laughs> oh, was he gone while we were talking about it? He didn't uh, step in until later. Well, I thought maybe he was just busy doing his work and not listening at all, so I... I Do you think we should ask him? If he was listening or if he sees the correlation? <laughs> yes. Yeah. The latter. Well, Pierre suggested um, that there were, uh, was a correlation between the Parmenides yeah. hypotheses, yeah. the divisions in the divine yeah. line, and the uh, uh, structure of the cave allegory. Oh. And the family dynamics. And the family dynamics. Sure. Yeah. The four types of soul and families the in the Republic. And the divided line. What? Divided line. I mentioned divided line. Yeah. yeah. There was a lot there. Well, you know, we did some of that at the Parmenides. Session. Yeah, because, you know, each one of those cognitive of functions presume a certain arena in which it can play itself out. And, equally well, there should be some way of understanding that, irrespective of the particulars. Therefore, it's metaphysical. Hmm. If, it's, if it's independent of the particulars, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, which is obvious, right? <laughs> should be. What is this we have? Well, it's all right. Hold on, sir. As the other one. Tank is going to read this. <laughs> Tank is reading this. I see Tank is reading it. Yeah. And he's going to help yeah. you out. Yeah. He's, he's quite a puppy. Yeah. He figures that he uh, he has some careful analysis of, mm. of, yeah. of what to do. He's a little right? He's here to finish up one of the discussions he hasn't sure. ended from a prior life. It was like direct line. I'm going, oh, I <coughs> Like you a Pythagorean a auditor. Divide the dream into two parts, natural division. part in terms of the allegory of the day or the dividing line. <coughs> now, it's often said that uh, <coughs> all dreams are merely reflections of the allegory of the cave. But it isn't widely known. Mm. So I thought we'd take to it for a while. It's much easier than to do it that other way. I like this one though. It fits. It fits. Where, where would you make the division? Division where he uh, puts okay. down his, Someone seat, else? his experience. Jeff. Sure. Well, all the, the high states have a, a we kind of a function. Good. Many people, and right. when it goes to I, there's lots of doubts and yeah. Doubts. And what marks the division about the I? What words? <clears throat> uh, I remember. 
Right. Sure, I got I remember. That's right. He's holding his coffee cup in his hand. Are you talking about elders? Mm -hmm. Or I get yeah, I got you. Right? <clears throat> so you have your two divisions? What would you say is going on in the first part? Talk about it in terms of the allegory in the cave or the divided land. We are walking out of the cave. Right. Go ahead. Well, that's just what I got out yeah, of yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We are <laughs> starting to ascend the ascent. Yeah, right. that's good. More? Though you might say that's a little weird in the Republic because there's no we going yes, out of the cave. No, no. There is yes, it is. One person gets out of the cave. No. no. The the guy, two, oh, well, the person that can tell us to right. go out. Sure. Right. And these people here seem to be doing it together right. without a compel right. her. Right. Therefore, well, make up a story. Go ahead. <laughs> then on what level are they? So we found our chains had rusted free and decided to walk on up the hill. <laughs> okay. Come on. Sure. Uh, yeah, it's, it sounds positive when, when, uh, in the first half of it, and then maybe there was doubt. That that's you... true. What's the dynamic that's going on in, in this first part? That's where we are. Hmm. <coughs> well, I doubt. was moving furniture, so I didn't hear the division <laughs> that you arrived at. What I remember. Remember. I remember. <laughs> ah. That moves also, as Jeff mentioned, from a we to an I from that point on. Sure, but what about the onset state? Because isn't that what they're remembering? Yes. Some, then somehow it came on and it onset, and while it onset was being asked our, to reflect on what it was like, go and see the processes we went through. That's true. That's true. Therefore, you want to put it in terms of the allegory to get that. Yeah. Well, I wanted you to know if that out. was what the state you're referring to when you say you remember. Is no. it that state? I didn't hear it. No, no, I got oh, the okay. I got the exact quote. I'm wondering about the because it's a, it is a remember thinking the state of mind was beautiful and powerful and clear past tense. So I wondered if this earlier the term onset referred to when the experience actually came about, when the steps of the process came Watch. about. Yeah. Yeah. That's a yeah. yes. Yeah. What? It came yes. on. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like somehow it came on. Yes. <coughs> yeah, then why are you making the division that I remember? I think because they're thinking that's when I started to put the state down. Well, that's definitely true. That's Is that what you're referring that's to? That's normal. That's yeah. later. You made a very good point. Is there some part of the allegory of the cave where such a, such a division would be appropriate? There are two levels above the cave. Yes. Oh, exactly. Yeah, the first one, the onset, could be the firelight stage. And then the other state could be the higher outside of the cave stage. That's right. Absolutely. Or we're That's even talking true. also about the night and the day. Okay. Yeah. So we hold back before we decide. But we have those two possibilities. Mm -hmm. So we don't push it, right? We let him tell us. Okay. Right? Yeah. It saves us work. Oh, yeah, I like that. Oh, God. So tell me, what is going on, sir? Read it. Oh, okay. In the dream, I'm with a group of people, and we are discussing the state of mind. It is a state of mind that we are trying to achieve. It's supposed to be a state of high quality, one that is a nice place to be. Beautiful, the highest. We were talking about it. That's enough. Uh huh. What's going on? In the dream, we're it's like we're about to go through some sort of ceremony or activity, or we're being brought through. It made me think of like the mysteries, like we're being we're being introduced to the mysteries in some way, and That's we're true. we're gonna go through this. We're sitting around talking about the activity we're about to go into, and. Then we get brought into it. I don't know how, but we're brought into the activity, yeah. and then. But you wanted me to stop, so that's yeah. yeah that's great. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 
This is a reflection. It starts off as a reflection, doesn't it? What okay, do you mean? Read it again. Mm -hmm. In the dream, I'm with this group of people and we are discussing the state of mind. It is a state of mind that we are trying to achieve, okay. is supposed. So, they're at one level, <coughs> reflecting on what kind of state of mind they may yet be in. Mm -hmm. right. As a result of this ceremony, As a result of the ceremony thing we're going to go through. So here. Therefore, within this, there is a division. Mm -hmm. right? Before the state. Right. And they're moving out of it into the higher. Mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. We were talking about it, uh, what it was like for a while, and there's a lot of anticipation. That's enough. What are they doing? Uh, what are they doing? Um, I just step back and said, uh, I described what was going on. Uh, See, this is a recollection. This is a reflection mm -hmm. about what may be. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's expectation or right. Right. Yeah. So some sort of prediction. We have a uh, built-in uh, <coughs> certain vision of where this next stage may be. Right? Yeah, they're conscious of the type of state that they are expecting to go into. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. It's the topic we're t discussing. Yeah. <coughs> uh -huh. yeah. Rather than rather than proceeding, uh -huh. they're doing what? Talking about proceeding. What it would be like to do it. Yeah. Well, it's like we're waiting before the ceremony. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Coming around and yeah. And we know what the ceremony is. Yeah. That we're going into. Right. Or it is known what happens, like, <coughs> as a result of the ceremony. Yeah. Uh -huh. And now you are... See? With them? You are now reflecting upon what they have been talking about. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. Then, like, somehow... It came on, and it onset, and while it onset, we we are. Should okay, be. watch it now. Do it again. Read it again. Then, like, somehow it came on. But and it came on. Yeah. Means? The state. the state or the ceremony, all of a sudden we are in it. Like, yeah, okay, now you're in it. So yeah. you're here. Uh-huh. Right? But there's something about the onset. Like, it was a process of, like, there was something... There was an onset, like yeah. like a coming into it. Yes, that's right. See, that's why I put the figure there. Okay, halfway no. in, gotcha. And while at onset, we are being asked to reflect on what it was like. Ah, now this is another level of reflection. Uh -huh. Right? Looking back. Now, now the reflection is, what is it like to be there? In it, yeah. Right? Second level of reflection. Sure. Right. Not anticipation and right. expectation, right. but the being there. Right. Uh -huh. We are being asked to, to to go. Oh wait, we are being asked to go to see the process we went through in it. Like what are what our minds were going through. It's like a process. Is what That's came right. to mind. It's like a process. And to see the stages or steps, we were asked to see. You're asked to see its functioning. See. The very images in the allegory is steps leading outward. We're being asked to what our mind is like in that state. Yes. Like, yes. much more like what it's like, what is it doing now that you're there? Yeah. Can you describe that? Right. Yeah. Now we need the key part. Go ahead. Yes, we were asked to see its functioning. Then when we were done, we were sitting around a table reflecting on it, and we are outside. So now? Third, mm -hmm. come on. Yeah, after. Right, right. Now, you're reflecting on 
the process and the steps. Right? Go ahead. I, I am. They in the dream are reflecting on the state. Okay. Like, that's... That's why I feel different from them after. Good. Is they're, like, talking about being in the state of mind itself. Yeah. Right. And I'm more interested in the questions that we were asked about its functioning. Like, what... What... It, what was the dynamics like understanding that rather than just the the clarity or the beauty or the power of it i wasn't so interested in those like the the state or the name or but the quality you wanted to know how it functions what else i want to know how it functioned and how then like we were brought into it and stayed in it and what our minds did when we were in that state. Like I want to understand its dynamics more. <laughs> yeah. I felt that they were, I was like, this is a great state, so, so is that, what, is that all you're going to do is just get in that great state or are you going to function, you can understand it and do something with that state or rather than just kind of like celebrate it uh, I was so look here see this third level mm -hmm. is taking place here okay <clears throat> after in the open seating area yeah mm -hmm. yeah one two three right right yeah Say, what do you think of those questions in respect to uh, what we've got so far? Like, uh, questions in, about the outbreak no, hold of the it, cave? Hold it, no, no. We're in the Republic. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. What does it look like? What level, in terms of the dream, allegory of the cave? It looks like experiencing the brilliant light of being. Mm. Like they're coming out and they're mm. looking at the idea of the good itself. And mm. That's what they're experiencing. Yeah, as yeah. it looks like. Could be wrong. Could be the. Yeah. Could be the flame. We're all yeah. looking at the flames together. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't. See, that's then moving from the night to the day. From seeing the reflections of things in water, or. Well, in the allegory of the cave. Uh -huh. There's a key point, in moving when the person emerges from the cave. Uh huh. They don't meet the everyday sunlit world. No, they don't. But it's dark. They see the stars and the heavens. And, they see things the, by like moonlight. Which is reflected light. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> which is the mark of understanding, see? Right. Right. So, uh, you move from understanding to knowing in this dream. And now you have some questions about that very transition. Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Say, um, <clears throat> uh, is it possible that you're familiar with the second hypothesis? And I've it? been fortunate enough to do some reading and come to some meetings mm -hmm. where it's discussed, yes, and listen to some audio of it while making breakfast in the morning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What interests you in that? Oh, I wonder whether you saw anything interesting in that. Considering your questions that you mm. just described that occurred in your dream. Um, <coughs> in terms of the second hypothesis, at this moment nothing is coming to my mind, but it doesn't mean I couldn't find something if I continue looking. <laughs> um, Remember your questions. Keep your questions uh -huh. in mind. What did you want to do? You wanted to know how it functions. Yes. Uh -huh. Right? Right. And if you weren't clear about its function, it looks like you, you're blocked from entering in it like the others. I experienced it. Uh, in the dream? Yeah. Oh, I, said, I didn't see that. I remember thinking the state of mind was beautiful and powerful and clear. I were, I, but I was wondering if we did build it up more than it was made out to be, or was then, there some hype to then it? Then what would you call what's going on? That's rather curious. I wouldn't have guessed that. 
What do you mean, guess what? <laughs> Therefore, you're in the higher state of mind, the allegory of the cave. Right. Uh huh. But what do you call what's happening? By the way, have you ever heard the word counterattack? I have heard this word counterattack. Yeah. Oh, oh, what's going on? You could call it a counterattack, and I'm not, I'm not against that, to be honest, uh, because I'm sure it happens. Uh, I felt like they were just stuck just getting there. Like, they didn't understand anything more about it. Like, to me, that was... Like, they were just, I don't know, like, interested in going to mental Disneyland. And now, like, it didn't seem much more... Yeah. Like, that was it. Like, it didn't do anything to them after that. It was just like they had this... They just wanted to sit there and reflect on the state. Yeah, and... Yeah, yeah. See, you've got a problem here, see. And it, I'm it's a very to subtle that. and interesting problem. Okay. Right? Is there a state beyond the one you've just described? Totally. In the Algorithm of the Cave, there is. Yeah. What's that? The cause, the cause of the brilliant light of being, the one, the good. Oh, uh -huh. so now let's go further. Let's assume possible that that transition is not to the realm of seeing. Okay. Right? Which is brilliant light of being. All right. But the higher state. That's what the people were going, that's what they were talking about? The, the, we are raising that uh -huh. as a as a possibility because of one word in your dream. Which word is that? Clear. Oh, when I said it was beautiful, powerful, and clear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well. See, that's very important because if that's the case, mm -hmm. then you're criticizing your, yourself mm -hmm. and putting down that experience because it's not functioning as the second hypothesis. That's a curious hypothesis, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm saying that they should keep going back to number two. Look, well, is that what would happen in the second hypothesis? The functioning part of it? Yeah. The functioning part of the one? Yeah. Um, if we put it in that terms, I hadn't thought about it that way. But yeah, that does yeah. fit. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, well, if that's the case, what advice would you give yourself? Um, stop criticizing it and enjoy the clear state. <laughs> <laughs> we abandoned, didn't we, our usual go way of going? Sort of. Right? Sort of. Yeah, yeah, sort of. But on another... Right. Right. Say at the end there... Yeah, that follows... Josh walked back down into the cave. And yeah. Said, oh, I'm, I'm going to get back into the... <laughs> I was way more arrogant than that. <laughs> we were talking last night before, at the end of the, the meeting, uh, Brad, Brian, and I, and then Eldar joined in about Brian's DMT experiences. Oh, good. And about this good. temple. And I was highly suspicious of everything that they were talking about. I was like, this guy's running a temple where he's giving people DMT? Like, this sounds ridiculous like in the sense of like that's all they do is go and have the experience like to me it was that's a and i know without it and i even said like without it without that experience myself of like first taking mushrooms i would never have it would have taken me a long time to wake up it really would have mm -hmm. but that experience alone while having a great quality and transformative power to it um has not been the same as like understanding that's true has true. brought me to See, and so I was just kind of skeptical while they were all talking, like, Brad kept wanting to get into the state with Brian, and I wanted to get in, like, okay, so what happened after? Like, what's happened since then? And... See, the issue with the DMT is whether it is in the first or the second hypothesis. You know, I was kept wondering about that because Brian kept distinctly talking about there being clarity and right. brilliance and beauty in the first step. Yes. And then he was like, but after that, he's like, I'm having hard work, hard, it's hard to describe what happened after that. And no. we See, prodded him. He said it was yeah. just a, a yeah. profound letting go. Yeah, yeah. So he doesn't, he hasn't asked that question. If there's something beyond that? 
no, no, whether we're dealing with the problem of GM3, whether it opens up the first and the second, or only the second, or the, both the first and the second and the third. Okay. He hasn't asked that. No. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, uh, I invited him to come to dinner, <laughs> right, last uh -huh. time, to have a little talk about this, right? And I said, Friday night would be a good time. Now, I don't know whether any of you know the gentleman and would want to sit in or not, but that's not up to me, that's up to him. Sure. I mean, if he says it's okay. Because we could be there Friday night early and have a couple of uh, uh, Carl Jr. hamburgers because that Nancy's got me on that diet. <coughs> yeah. Yes. She, well, Brian she insists eat. that I eat fried onions and french fries because she likes French food. She likes French dudes too. French names. <laughs> <laughs> so is it not recurious that we have two dreams that we can play Plato's allegory of the cave and the divided line? Yes. Is it? Is that fun? What does that mean? It means the dream master knows Plato. <laughs> Which I always suspected. They went to the same college. Yes, we want to know that school. We want to get in there, right? We want to enroll in those classes. It also means, though, as I've come up with many times, which is to say that if you don't understand midwifery or something like what we're engaged in terms of reflection and allegory and simile and metaphor, then you're never going to understand Plato. Well, I think... Like, really understand. You might get, like, you could list the ten steps of the allegory of the cave without knowing them. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Without it being real. Yeah. yeah. Like it exists. Well, I, I believe it or not, but I even know some people who are into the Republic and never got into the Parmenides. Really? Yeah. That shocking. is shocking. Isn't it? Yes. Some now, people Jeff tells me that at ICU, they're into the Republic, but not in the Parmenides. Oh. Wow. I had a much higher opinion. <laughs> I probably it's worse than that. It is. No. Uh, is the discussion going to have some effect on the, the Balboas? I don't know, but it would be not cool, wouldn't it? And he, there might be a growth of footnotes and additional comments. Mm. I like that. Mm. Good idea. Mm. The Balboas are always listening. <laughs> yeah, he gave me a copy of book eight hmm. of the Proclus's commentary on the time is hmm. beautiful volume and last night I happened to have gotten a new copy of it it's already outdated wow <laughs> I mean Two weeks, <laughs> maybe three weeks. <laughs> he went from a polished uh, version out of Amazon, and they sent me an MMO and said, but we made a couple of changes. <laughs> and the changes are so well distributed because he makes comments, many interesting comments he makes along the way that expand it by about a half a dozen pages. Mm. So if you have a copy, you might have to, as the others... Ah, add a new copy or get rid of the yeah, old. And yeah. How many mm -hmm. copies of the Parmen of the Proclus's commentaries do you have? Uh, Proclus's commentaries, not so many. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We're Eight. safe. <laughs> well, we need have a lot of catching up to do. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank pleasure. you very much, yeah. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Yeah. Wondering. Oh, good. <laughs> Stay there. You, you mentioned about the four, four different family or five. Yeah. Families. Can you? I forget all. To, yeah, yeah. You forget it's in all? the book, I think. Yes. Okay. It's in the yeah. public, huh? Yeah, I have a bad memory for those book things. Book eight. Book eight. Okay. Right. Oh, cool. No yeah. problem. Yeah. Okay. That part's a little more straightforward than some of the others. 
I recall being in his class when I was 19 and I read the part about the oligarchs. So I was like, that's how my country is run. Huh, what do you know? <laughs> that's <laughs> right, isn't it? It fits. It's even worse now. Oh yeah, because God. now that, the, the, it's an uh, allegory and a tyrant. Yeah. Oh, downward. Yeah, right. In, in your face, tyrant. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> a tyrant and proud of it. Yes. And, yeah. and now he's going to make pot illegal federally. Oh, they'll try. I totally agree. Oh, good. Oh. It has more of an impact than I thought on what we've been talking about. Even though you may not see it right away. Thank you. Just, uh, I have uh, just 10 copies, so I can distribute them as you uh, Say, is it possible that uh, we don't have to make too many changes to this diagram? Stop doing my dreams. Huh? <laughs> Get out of my dream world. <laughs> I'll just pull that one sheet out. Okay. Is there a division? Yes. All right. Very clear? Mm -hmm. I, I think so. Is it the stairway and the bus? Between taking the stairway and the bus? Yes, not complete. See more the, the trip up the mountain? Yeah. Bathroom? Yeah. Mm. So, Given the way we're playing the game, what questions would you like to explore first? Given the possibility that using the allegory of the cave may be significant in terms of this and other dreams similar to it. Well, there's the resisting. That's on this side. Mm -hmm. 
Right. So let's deal with the first part. What does it look like? Right. Consider it the words. Hmm. It looks like getting out of the cave. Like literally going up the hill, going up the rough ascent. Yes. You got to go up a rough ascent. That's right. right. Literally. Yeah. How are we gonna get there? Yeah. And it, they've been there before too. It sounds like. <laughs> been there before. They've been there before, and uh, it sounds like a beautiful place. Yeah. A seminar. A seminar. A seminar. So then, wouldn't you want to ask? Say, what was it like in the dream at that moment when you're describing the beauty? So you can get a state of mind, mm. right? Mm. Bill? I hadn't thought of that. Interesting. <laughs> it's, um, everything's beautiful. The bus service is great. The, uh, can I? The place uh, is up there. Is there a copy is, I can have? Is that it? Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, even when she says there's a stairway, it's still a possibility. I mean, it's What's it like at that big, rich mansion? You mean by seeing it or remembering it? Remember, in the dream. Yes. Well. We weren't there yet. At least we've been there before. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful place at the top of the hill. It's um, um, it's it's top level. I mean, it's very mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah. And uh, what else to say about it? it? Kind of reminds me of the Getty movie. Right? What kind of beauty? How? What is it? How? What was that like experiencing that beauty in the dream? Well, I was just seeing it up there. It wasn't... Okay, you're seeing. I'm seeing that it's up there. Yeah, okay. I'm okay. remembering that it was that we were there at one point. Therefore, agree, there's a transition. Right? I see it's up there. And now you're going to try to get up there? Um, yes, except I'm resisting. I'm not That's okay, but uh, up to that point. Um, you mean there's, like a, there's a phrase in there I'd like you to read, start with, and the only way. And the only way I see to get there is to climb down into this valley and climb up again this dirt path that looks almost impossible. Um, then she says... There's a stairway, which makes it possible. Right makes it now possible. Yeah. Right. So now, right, you want to get up there, it's now possible. So you're going up the steps. Right. That's what's going to be. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'll say here. Say so even before the stepway, it says almost impossible. Yes. Meaning it's still possible, just, but a stairway makes it a lot easier. Right, right, right. That's the yeah, that's absolutely right. That's right. Yeah. right. He, Pierre, he also did say that that rich mansion was kind of like the Getty Museum. I just said that, yeah, to remind me. It was like the Getty uh, Villa or something like that, yeah. Remind me very much of that. Okay, then what happens? Then comes the problem of taking a leak. That's right. Right? <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And while, while peeing, you get an insight. What's the insight? Hmm. <laughs> you see an insight in your head? <laughs> right in the middle of it. And uh, I'm there peeing all the time. I'm thinking. Go ahead. I don't think we want. I don't want to go to this place because we weren't invited. Right. 
There it is. What's the problem? I wasn't invited. Right. You feel you have to be invited. That's right. Mm. Mm. But I, at the time, I think of it as one of several excuses I come up with for not going there. Yeah. 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 And uh, what does that do to you? In the uh, dream. In the dream. Uh, it gives me a reason not to go. That's right. And it's, it's, even though I don't say it here, it's I could tell her that. Yeah. You know, yeah. We weren't invited. Right. So that's the pathologos. That's the key element. I, right. The climbing up the hill, that's... That's okay. Well, I've had it in a dream before, exactly that hill, same yeah. hill. But uh, no, that's, you can do it. Now, and now she we comes know. up with a stairway, yeah. that makes it possible. Yeah. You know, but you're not invited. And they're great buses. They're, you know, that make, and everybody gets a bus ride in town uh, free. Uh, I mean, say, uh, everybody had a pass. what's that like? <laughs> oh, excuse Wait. me. <laughs> you mean to put, come up with that idea, the not invited? At that moment in the dream. When I said not invited? Right. Uh, it gave me uh, uh, some kind of power, I think. Um, uh, power would be not the best word for it. Um, More. Um, it, it was a clear, it was clear, the reason was clear. You know, it's, uh, yeah, and that, that I had, that I had a, a clear reason, very clear, and, yeah. so, you know, yeah. and I could use it to argue with. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it blocked you from going further. That's right. I never left the bathroom. I got up. Yeah. Up. Then you got caught up in. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah What's really that? Good. Again, I like what you said. Okay. It's clear, clear reason. It's got power in that making that statement. Right. Right. And I knew I could tell uh, Rhonda that. But what's the consequences of it? I'm not going to get up to the. Right. To the moon. I wonder what kind of role that plays in your life. You mean having a clear reason for not doing something? <laughs> this is, what should I say, everywhere. It's everywhere. Right? <coughs> Rhonda, why is it that these three dreams reflect the dynamics of the allegory of the cave? Now, I know you've seen this in, in your literature all over the place. They talk about that all the time. No? Well, what does it do to you to see the possibility of this? Did you coordinate something with the dream master? <laughs> like, wouldn't you agree that would be a great article to have rejected? <laughs> Would it not? Yeah. But on the other hand, it opens up the door. That's right. And it might fly with the APPA. Now, see, I want to tell you guys, this is just a phony game. I told Bill to come up with this dream and yours, right? Eldar. Right. Yeah, and Eldar's right. So I just... We decided to pull this trick on you. <laughs> or? Or, yeah. <laughs> or like, doesn't there someone that already gave where he talks about the law of the mind? Yeah, yeah, that's right. He talks about the law of the mind? Yes, that's in the dialectic. Right, in some way, and then the dream master would hopefully know the laws of the mind? Yeah. So they'd be they'd yeah. open like that? Yeah, and he went to that school, that college, that elder I mentioned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's on a mountain somewhere, isn't so, it? Would you agree, whenever you experience this power, right, clear reason, it's suspect. Hmm. So whenever you experience that, you gotta say, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. He called it an excuse, too. Yeah. Yes, yes, very well. Good word for it. Yeah. Stay there. See it obeys. Halfway. <laughs> Interesting, yeah. <laughs> see, later in the reflection, afterward, which is just quickly mm -hmm. came mm -hmm. to me, 
I, I come up with a, a reason why I could go there. Yeah, it's right there. I'd go there. up the stairway, and uh, even if there was a bunch of people, I'd be outside, and we could just blend in with them and be part of the seminar. Yeah, therefore that's merging with what kind of a group? But good people. Good yeah. Group, up on its highest level. I'm, so, I'm suspicious in the sense of, like, then you're going to be there and feel like you don't belong there, and if somebody sees you, no. and then you could be outed, you know, like... We can blend in, but then you know you're not fully in because you're, I don't know, to me that would be like, yeah, yeah. you found a way to get in, but not get in purely. Like, right, right. The Which state is, of mind of not wanting to go there, but going along with it stands out throughout. Yeah. So this is on the level of belief, as we know. Therefore, it's the fourth, <coughs> in terms of the Parmenides, the fourth hypothesis, and it's, just, and it's described in that very way. There, but not apart. Which, as I say, this is always the case that they talk about at ICU. Yeah, that talk about or talk through. <laughs> Amazing. There's a whole bunch of reasons Amazing. I'm not going. I mean, I, I come up with all these things, but I come up with one that's really good. I'm not invited. No, no, no. It just feels good. Oh, no, no, that's true. That ain't good. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, but Bill... So in the dream it says, uh, it says uh, we're in this town and everybody has a pass. Yeah. So in a place where everybody has a pass up to this place, you don't no, they don't have a pass to that place, but they can use the buses. Okay, well the bus will get you. Well, we'll get, get you partway, yeah. Get you partway. Yeah. Okay. No, very good. Right, I'd say well, that would suggest nobody needs an invitation if they all have a pass to get them up to this level. That's essential. Absolutely right. Well, the, dream, the bottom that's of the essential. hill. Okay. The bottom of the hill, yeah. yeah. And you're right. I, I, I think you're right. I think yeah. you're right. Yeah, that's essential for the dream. But the, the crappy place, I mean, the, it's incredibly dirty and terrible. Yeah, but so what? <laughs> 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 uh, so what? You're taking a leak, you're not taking it with you. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. <laughs> Curious? Yeah, curious. That's curious. Yeah. Well, it's, Nancy uh, wanted me global, to do this this morning. Is that right? That's right. See? That's right. I'm not always making up stories. Yeah. I like what you said. It's when I come up with these uh, excuses. Yeah, I keep coming. I, I work on them. You know, why am I going to go someplace? And I finally come with a good reason for not going there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like you're working, you're working for an excuse. All your reflections, yeah. right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Rather than looking for the positive side of what might be enduring. Good. Again. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So, what are we going to do this morning? Well, we just did a couple of dreams. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bradley to do a painting of the cave. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. What do we have to add? Mm, well. Family states. Oh, the, the structure of the cave for one thing, right? And the divided line. And the family. Well, no, I mean the structure and the families of the cave and the families. Yeah. And, the, and yeah. so I'm in the fourth hypothesis. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. That kind of problem puts you in the fourth That's right, hypothesis. that's right. It doesn't mean you're in the fourth No, hypothesis. no, that yeah. keeps me there. Yeah, right. Because I, I can see there is one. I mean, yeah. I can see it's higher. Yeah. I remember it. Right. I've you've been, been there. there. Yeah. Says you've been there. <laughs> and, I, and I belonged there when I was there before. You know, I mean, I was invited. <laughs> so you got a great state of mind. That whenever you're in it, you know, uh-oh, problem. Oh, yes, it's like... It's going to end up as an excuse. I always thought that was a shitty state of mind. No, it's it like, is. It's like a gift. Hey, it? wait a minute, it is. I know, but still... And it doesn't mean it's any good. No, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a warning. I mean, it's... See, that can be like a state of jeriki. So what? I mean, mm -hmm. so you can now act spontaneously and feel secure and powerful. It just happens to be one thing wrong with it. <laughs> Whether you should be there or not is is left aside. Keep me from the good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. 
My pleasure again. No, my pleasure. I don't know what pleasure. Hmm. Okay. 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 So we were talking maybe coffee this afternoon, tomorrow, and... Yes. This afternoon, tomorrow? Likely tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, because I think I... Today's busy. He suggested a cup of coffee would be good. I'm not sure why. I didn't inquire. I just want to... Okay! (laughs) How about we got to check on a couple of things in Sure, well, yeah, well, he was, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm open. My social schedule is, again, calendar is completely open. Yep, yep, yep. yep. For such activities, mm. it is. Okay. Same. Only tomorrow I have. I should ask Jeff as well. Did he take off? No. Mm. I have a curious problem with my computer. When I download a text that was sent to me, then I open it up and I hit the button that says print and I get a beautiful message. What message do you get? We can't get there from here? We can't get you there. Would, would you like to get a copy? So I said, what the hell, yes. So I push the button mm. and I get another message. Mm. Can't go there from here. Yeah. You know, probably the document is locked. So when you... What document is locked? The one you're trying to print. Oh. Locked. Yeah. So if you click on the icon and do get uh, command I, Apple I, you'll get information. And it'll <laughs> say, is this read only, write only? I think it can block you from printing. Yes. The other person sometimes has to give you permission first. Uh, wait sometimes a minute. you can just open wait it up. Wait a minute. Up. What are you doing? I mean, you just take the permission, permission thing off. That's what I do. What did you say you do? Well, ask Jeff, too. Yeah. He tries to print the document and that he's been sent, and it says, we're not printing this. You don't have permission. I don't know if it says, you don't have permission. Well, the first, the first one comes on, and it, ah. and it says, uh, you cannot print this. Would you like to have a copy? So I p- click the button and says, yes. Then the next announcement co- uh, comes up, and it says, you can't do it. So it sounds like the first one was in the third hypothesis and the second one was in the ninth? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so I was wondering. I don't know, really, I'd have to take On Apple, you can do I'm like. Apple guys, right? Well, sometimes you, you can do like get info and you find out it's locked. But you can unlock it. Yeah, yourself. by doing by doing what? Yeah. Oh, by. So you, you've downloaded it somewhere to your computer. So sometimes you have to save it to your computer, right? Yes. So then you'll see it. And you click on it, so it's highlighted. And you use Apple. Uh, save. Well, it's already saved, isn't it? Okay. So it comes down. Is it in the bar of your window, or did you you've opened it up, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Then you save it somewhere on your computer. Okay. Yes. Desktop is yeah, where I use it. Right. Again. Okay. Then you click on the little icon for the document, and you click hold it. Oh, uh, what? The I'm little icon. You click on it so what, that it highlights. What, what is that icon? Well, it has, looks like a little tiny piece of paper and has the document name underneath it. You know? No, like all, the, all your documents, on the, all your writings on the computer, they all look like little tiny pages with a W for Microsoft Word, usually. That's what we're talking about. Okay. I'm about clicking on the save. I have my computer in my car. I can show you if you want. So. Well, then, wait a minute. I have an idea. Here. Bring it up. up. Yeah, I don't know if it would work. And Wait a minute. Jeff seems to apply genius to the map. Can I have your computer with you? Yeah. Ta-da. Ta-da. Okay. Oh, but I don't think it has the... Document? No, no. The, 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 the uh, address Hi-Fi here? connection. Okay. The Wi-Fi, yes. Yeah. Well, it's his name. The genius is Par- Pierre and Parmenides, or Parmenides and Pierre. Okay. If he's locked on before, it should remember it. Yes, it should. You've got to put your password in, though, Pierre. Pardon? you got to put your password in to open it. 
I thought you knew everything. Like somebody steals my computer, they can just use it. Just in Word or just in Word? Is it an Apple thing or is it in Word itself? Uh, it's an Apple. Okay, because Word in mine will ask is this is a locked document. And do you want to edit it? Oh, it doesn't say locked. Then you got to, well, I don't know if it's locked or blocked, but you cannot edit this document. If yes. you want to, you have to make a copy of it and then oh. tell it not to uh, to do that. Yeah. You can, so then you can edit it. Ours just, ours just lets you take the lock off. So you don't have to have uh -huh. Some of them so. seem to do that too. I don't know. Both have happened to me. <laughs> have you seen Phil Simpkins' new song? Have you played it on the computer? It's a new single that's come out to Phil Simpkins. You know the, Phil, the philosopher Phil Simpkins? <laughs> He has a band, the Simpson Project. He has a band, and they often play. I just so anyway, he has a cool song, and right now I can't remember the name of it. But it, if you look up um, Phil Simpkin on iTunes, which is what I use because I don't use Spotify, apparently it's on both of those platforms. Then it's like 99 cents for his new song, and it's a really cool, cute song. And so he's on Facebook telling everybody that it's available, and now there's an album to follow. And he has two other albums that are like 10 bucks each from iTunes. Have you got, oh, he's looking at the doctor. You could also try, if it's Microsoft Word, looking in Microsoft well, Word. Well, just for a second. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure what it exactly says up there at the top of it, but it's something about you can edit this document. Mm -hmm. And you can release it. Mm -hmm. Like you can't save your changes sometimes. Mm -hmm. what, what my for a while. Well, then they give me a little copy on the side. Here's the old original. See this?